Well, um, first of all, I, I would like to thank I would like to thank the organizing committee for allowing me to, to be here and share with you uh, the work I've been doing for the last uh, year. Um, okay. Um, first, uh, excuse me for a moment. Okay, this this has been our, our collaboration work with Hugo Borges, a, a computational chemist here in Colombia, and also with Aldo Romero. Uh, it's not an implementation, it's rather an, um, an observation what we have found uh, working with the kinetic energy density uh, in the context, uh, particularly in the context of Van der Waals interactions. So first, I would like to, to present this summary. Uh, I, I will talk about the background and motivation of this, of this work. Then I will present two theorems uh, involving the electronic density and also the, uh, the kinetic energy density in finite systems. Um, that, uh, that are important for, for uh, as, as you will see, uh, if, if we want to evaluate uh, Van der Waals functions from the density point of view. Uh, then I will show you some results uh, we have found using a vignette uh, regarding the asymptotic behavior of the kinetic energy per particle uh, in some atoms and, and molecules. And then finally, uh, I, I will finish with some conclusions and perspectives. Well, um, uh, as, as you may know, I have been working with Van der Waals interactions um, in, in density functional theory. And the main goal in, in, in this subject is, uh, is to have a, um, a functional that captures the long range uh, electronic correlations which are responsible of this kind of interactions. Um, all, all the methodologies that have been proposed have been compared uh, or have been uh, benchmarked against uh, data coming from uh, structural properties like the interlayer bonding distances in, in layer materials, or for example, um, bonding distances uh, in, in rare gas atoms, and also the energetics of these interactions. I mean, uh, to compute, to accurately compute the interaction energy in these kinds of systems. However, um, from the experimental point of view, there have been uh, very recently some work regarding the electronic density in this kind of systems. In particular, this work from 2018 is, is very important in where they have they, they studied the system as titanium S2. And they studied the electronic density in the region between the layers. Uh, this region of, 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 of too low value for the density is responsible of, of uh, what happens there is responsible of the Van der Waals interactions. So um, to summarize the results, I, I would like to, to point out the, the following. Um, these experiments uh, allow to map the electronic density in these regions, in these regions and compare against uh, the, the theory. And, 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 and for example, here you, you have uh, this region between sulfur atoms uh, and you have the experiment in the in the in the left, and the theory in the uh, uh, excuse me uh, the opposite. You have the the theory in the in the left, and the experiment in the right. And you can see in this uh, in this plot that there is an accumulation of charge which is not predicted with the state of art functionals. In this case, for example, the scan uh, with a non-local correlation um, functional added. In this case, the revised VV10 um, functional. So. Even though um, these functionals can give you the correct interlayer binding and in the interlayer distance uh, in, in these systems, and also the energetics is, is good, um, at the level of the density, the real space electronic density, um, there, are some, uh, there are some physics that is not grasped by these uh, functionals. Uh, in particular, um, if you compute, um, the dipole, the electric dipole in, in, in sulfur atoms, you will see that there is a difference of one order of magnitude between the experiment and the theoretical calculation. And you have also a difference of one order of magnitude um, uh, if you compute the, which is known as the atomic Lagrangian, which is the, the integral of the Laplacian of the density in the atomic volume. This atomic volume is defined in terms of the uh, atoms in molecules uh, theory, for example. Um, so at the level of the electronic density in real space, uh, there are uh, some uh, important difference, uh, differences if you compare with experiment or if you compare with uh, uh, much more accurate uh, theoretical calculations, uh, such as that uh, from, from uh, quantum, uh, the, the solution of the Schrodinger equation by um, theoretical chemistry methods. Um, 
so this uh, has attracted a lot of attention because uh, um, if you see uh, the results and, and only consider the energetic and the structure of the, of the system, you can think uh, that you are describing the system uh, completely. But uh, if you look at the density, perhaps it's not the case. Um, also, at the same time, um, uh, this work was published. Uh, it's a kind of controversial, controversial work, as you may know. Um, where it was found that if you compare the electronic density uh, against the, 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 the more accurate uh, uh, available densities coming from quantum chemistry calculations, you see that even though uh, the energetics is improving over the years, is not the case with the density. Um, this, this work was controversial because uh, they, they worked with a particular set of atoms and some people in the community uh, were claiming that, the, that the, it was not a, an, a, um, an exhaustive uh, evaluation of, of, of the performance of these uh, uh, new functionals, uh, in particular the, 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 the empirical parameterization approach in which you have a, a functional with a lot of param parameters uh, that you can adjust basically to give you, to give you what you want. Um, but in any case, um, what this work uh, is pointing, which I think is very important, is, is something that is, is very basic in density functional theory. And that is that the reproduction of the exact energy is not a characteristic of the exact functional unless the input electronic density is exact as well. Um, this observation, um, I think, is very, very important and can, um, can improve uh, uh, if we uh, put attention in, in, in this subject, uh, it, it can improve the, the development of, of, of functionals. In particular, I, I am uh, interested in, in Van der Waals functionals. So <clears throat> these kind of functionals uh, have not been uh, uh, studied yet. Um, but and the problem is, is that uh, in these in this kinds of approaches, uh, we have to use, I will go faster here, we, we have to use two, two main groups of methods to, to try to evaluate the quality of the electronic density. There are methods ba based on integrals of the density, for example, the total kinetic energy of the system or the density moments. And also we can have other methods based on point-to-point -point measurements um, of the density. The problem with, uh, with Van der Waals interactions is that, uh, as you may know, the, um, this interaction causes very slight variations of the electronic density if you compare with calculations uh, without Van der Waals interactions. Um, even though the, 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 the modification of the electronic density upon this kind of interactions is small, uh, the, the, this interaction modify, uh, modify um, in, in, a, in a very important way the, the energy and the, and the structure that you can obtain, the equilibrium structures of, of, the, of, the, of the systems. Here, I, I am showing just a, a couple of examples of the, the metrics that have been defined in order to compare the electronic density against some reference. It can be calculated from higher accuracy calculations or a time that can come from experiment, from experimental results, for example, or for quantum uh, Monte Carlo uh, methods. Um, in any case, um, uh, in any case, um, the problem with these integrals is that, uh, the problem uh, I mean in the case of Van der Waals functional, is that uh, if we integrate the density in the whole space, these slight variations of the density um, can be hindered by, by the, 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 the very integration itself. So um, that's why we, we think of a better approach uh, looking for local values. In particular, we are interested in the kinetic energy density per particle, which we can obtain very easily uh, dividing the kinetic energy density uh, by the electronic density. This uh, amount, uh, this quantity known as G of R, um, has very important um, properties, uh, which are given uh, by some theorems, uh, which are known from some time ago. In particular, um, two limits are very important. One is uh, known uh, is now, uh, as the Katokov's condition. You may know that, that the derivative of the electronic density uh, divided by the density uh, multiplied by, by the Bohr radius and divided by two uh, tend exactly to the atomic uh, number of, of the atom. Um, 
from from this theorem it is not uh, hard to show that um, the kinetic energy per particle will uh, tend or will approach to the square of the atomic um, the atomic number divided by two. This this works only in the case of Coulombic systems and also if we have a, a point like uh, nuclei. Um, the other theorem important is um, is the, the 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 asymptotic behavior of this quantity. Um, it can be shown, or it has been shown, that uh, in any finite col columbic system, um, if you take this limit, uh, uh, the, 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 the quantity G will approach the first ionization uh, energy of the system. Uh, these results are exact. They come from um, some properties of the multi-electronic wave function, which can be um, translated to the to the density and to the kinetic energy density. Um, so the behavior of, of, of G can allow us to see what is the effect uh, uh, that Van der Waals interactions have in G. And looking at that effect, we can we can propose a measure or uh, an indicator of the quality of certain van der Waals functional as compared to either uh, experimental uh, values or uh, higher accuracy um, calculations. So this, this is the first part, this is the, the theoretical part. And when, when I was aware of these of this, uh, properties of G, I, 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 the, the first thing I, I thought was, was, okay, I will calculate in Abinit what is going to happen. Because as you know, for finite systems, we have uh, many problems. If you, if you want to simulate it, simulate them with uh, wave planes, um, as, as we see a couple of, of talks before. So in any case, uh, I, I wanted to try. I wanted to try. But before, but, but before the, the try, in Avenid, uh, we computed some, some calculations with, with gains, uh, with, uh, uh, which is a, a quantum chemistry package, a free quantum chemistry package. For example, here you have G uh, as a function of the distance uh, to the, to the nucle nucleus. And you see how uh, G tends exactly to 50, which is uh, the atomic number squared divided by two. In this case, 100 divided by two. Okay, this, this is a singularity at the origin, but in the, in the neighborhood of, of the nuclei, you can see how G tends exactly to 50. Uh, the other limit, um, the long range uh, limit of the asymptotic behavior of G, uh, you can see how uh, more or less <laughs> G approaches the, um, the ionization, the first ionization energy in this case of neon. Uh, you see here the, the benchmark value. Okay, um, this is what you can expect from a quantum chemistry, uh, quantum chemistry package. Uh, using uh, Gaussians as the as the basis set, um, and, and okay, uh, so I, I started to do uh, some calculations in Avinit, and at, at the first time, uh, I, uh, my surprise was uh, big because, for example, in the case of neon, the black dots, or the case of argon, the blue dots, you see how uh, the kinetic energy per particle does not converge. <laughs> in still, you have an explosion here even using a very large uh, cut of energy and a very large uh, uh, unit cell. Um, if you start to increase a cut and increase a cell, you will see a little uh, improvement of this behavior. And in any case, you don't see any convergence of, the, of, of G uh, towards, the, um, towards some value, constant value, uh, the ionization energy. For example, in this case, we have, we have the, the reference values values and you see how far we are. Um, in this case, I was using one, in, uh, one key, key point. As you know, if you have a very large cell, uh, the, the first thing, what, the first thing you, you, you have in mind is that you don't need uh, more key points because uh, your Brigoisson is, is very small. Um, but um, I, 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 will, I, I tried another set of G points and and, and, and I had another surprise because uh, in this case, a happy surprise <laughs> because uh, the behavior of, of, of G changed uh, dramatically. The good thing is, as you can see here, that um, these curves are approaching, uh, are asymptotically uh, approaching some constant value. 
in the case of argon, for example, if you compare with the reference ionization energy, you see that the agreement is pretty, pretty good. Not the case for neon and the, the, the worst is for, for helium. <clears throat> this has to do um, with the self-interaction error uh, in, in DFT. Uh, this is related, this, this, this asymptotic behavior is related with the exponential decay of the electronic density for large distances. Uh, it is well known and, and these theorems guarantee that the electronic density must decay exponentially and the kinetic uh, energy density must decay as well exponentially. So if this quantity, the, the ratio between these, these two uh, quantities uh, tend to a constant is because <clears throat> uh, if, you, if, if you plot, for example, in a logarithmic uh, um, plot uh, the, the kinetic energy and the electronic energy, you should see uh, two parallel lines. In fact, in one of the, of the plots that Natalie shown before, uh, I saw that, that she, she was plotting the kinetic energy density and the electronic uh, density and I, and, and, and in a logarithmic plot, and I could see these uh, parallel lines, uh, which is an indicator that we are getting well the, this asymptotic behavior for the for G, for the, electron, for the kinetic energy per particle. So I, I tried a lot, a, a, another systems. Uh, the first, uh, uh, for example, hydrogen, which is a very, very important system because this result can be obtained analytically. You can analytically obtain a G and, and compare uh, with a lot of rungs in the, in the Jacobs ladder. And you see uh, several things in this plot. For example, if we work with DGA or LDA, um, the results are, are, are very similar, the synthetic behavior. But uh, this uh, value, value is, is far from uh, the, the um, ionization energy of hydrogen. You see that it's 0.5, exactly 0.5 half three. Uh, also, I tried a meta GGA, TPSS functional. You see this, this, this black curve also tends to, a, to a, has an, an, an asymptotic behavior. And, um, and, and, and okay, I, 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 I wanted to calculate the better approximation to, to this value um, because in the case of in the case of hydrogen uh, we have not exchange correlation energy um, so it is possible to use a binit machinery uh, to solve this this problem um, of hydrogen in fact i found the solution of working with hydrogen uh, in a very old entry in a binit forum uh, it's a response from xavier um, we can use uh, the, bare, uh, the bare Coulomb potential of the nuclei, and in this case, the proton, no, in, in not using uh, uh, an organ-serving pseudo potential, and uh, the Fermi-Amaldi correction. In this case, the Fermi-Amaldi correction cancels exactly the Hartree potential, and um, the Consham equations become the Schrodinger equation in this one electron system, of course. Um, nicely, if you see uh, what happens with G is that you obtain very close to the very close to the to the nuclear nucleus, uh, you obtain already that G is around the exact uh, ionization energy. But this is obtained if you have uh, NGKPT333, for example, if you just uh, use gamma point approximation, you will have a catastrophic error in uh, in G. So. Um, it is very important working with the kinetic energy density in finite systems to uh, have a very good, or, or not very good, a good enough uh, um, uh, key point uh, set. Okay, uh, I wanted to look uh, in more detail the origin of this, of this explosion in G, and, and we found the following. It turns out that the electronic density, in this case in green and black, is not affected by uh, the use of, of key points. Uh, you have, a, you have a, a practically the same curve if you use just one point or a grid with NGKPT three times three times three. Um, but you have very important differences in tau in the kinetic energy density you see that uh, if you use just one point, you obtain the wrong behavior for the whole range of distances uh, with respect to the nucleus. Uh, if you use, uh, in this case, NGKPT three times three times three, you retrieve a good behavior for the electronic energy um, density. 
Um, the good news is that uh, we, we, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, can you hear me? No, I don't know what is happening, but uh, you, you have uh, you have uh, two minutes. Okay, 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 I, I will finish, thank you. Okay, um, no, I, jo I will just uh, show some results. Uh, lithium, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen uh, comes from the second row and you see the same behavior. Um, and also some molecules, for example, the hydrogen dimer and, and benzene, uh, you can obtain um, this uh, asymptotic behavior, uh, the correct asymptotic behavior, uh, using wave planes for finite system, even uh, if you use the correct uh, sampling of Brillua of Brillua uh, Of course, the value is not correct, um, but at least we have uh, this uh, behavior, this asymptotic behavior, the, in, in which G tends to a constant for large distances from the uh, from the nuclei. Well, conclusions and, and perspectives. perspectives. Mm, okay, uh, since tau uh, in real space is an input for meta GGA functionals, it's important to add key points convergence studies when dealing with finite systems. Perhaps it's, it's not uh, that important in the case of, um, of periodic systems, but for example, if you have absorption of molecule on surfaces, uh, we have to take care of the perpendicular direction to the layer, for example, or to the surface because uh, it will affect the, the, the values and the behavior of the kinetic energy density. Uh, this quantity can play an important role in benchmarking of van der Waals consistent functionals from the density point of view, of course. And as a perspective, I, 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 I would like to see what will be the effect of these Coulomb truncation methods that were just presented uh, on the asymptotic behavior of G, because I think that these oscillations that you see in G uh, can be due to to, to the excess of, uh, of, of the Coulomb interaction for long uh, distances. And also, um, what is the meaning uh, of the limit of G in the case of extended systems? If in the case of an atom of or, or a molecule, G tends to the ionization energy, I am wondering, and this is our hypothesis, which have to be tested, perhaps in the case of 2D crystals, this limit uh, will be uh, the work function of the material. But this is under, and their and their and their progress right right now. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. And um, thank you, Camille. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. There is a question from Eric. Could RPA help to improve uh, Van der Waal interaction? Y yes, Eric. Uh, in principle, RPA uh, is one of the benchmarking methods that are used uh, for uh, for Van der Waals interactions. Uh, the problem is that it's very expensive. But I think I would like to test uh, what would be the behavior of tau uh, obtained with RPA, for example. I, I think it would be nice to see if we re re retrieve the exact behavior. 